As we continue along the spinal cord, notice that right over here, it appears that the spinal cord again begins to enlarge. And this region of enlargement is going to be called the lumbar enlargement. And the reason it's called the lumbar enlargement, even though it happens to be found in the vertebral, vertebral canal within the thoracic region, is that right over here is where you have the spinal segments, which are going to f be the origin of the neurons that are going to form the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus, which are going to supply nerves to uh, the pelvic region and the legs. And so right over here, we're going to have a higher concentration of neurons and hence the enlargement. This region right over here where you have the tapering tip of the spinal cord is called the conus medullaris. The pia meda is coming off the conus medullaris right over here and it's going to continue downward to form a structure called the phylum terminale. Here is the beginning of the phylum terminale and we can follow it and see that it is eventually going to attach itself to the tapering end of the dural sheath. So what the phylum terminale is doing is it's going to provide vertical stabilization for the spinal cord, just like the denticulate ligaments which provide lateral stabilization. The pia meda here is going to provide vertical stabilization. Right over here, you have the exit point for T12, and right over here we have the exit point for L1 and L2 and so forth. The spinal segment associated with L2 is not nearby, but it is further up where you have the beginning of the lumbar enlargement, so it will be somewhere up here. So what happens as a result of the differential growth of the spinal cord compared to the vertebral column is that the roots elongate and go to their respective exit points and as a consequence within the lumbar cistern you have all these roots of these spinal nerves and together they form a structure called the coda equina.